What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. So many people are saying stuff like, oh, the 4B movement is just a TikTok trend. It's not going to take off in real life. It's just a fringe movement. Are they sure about that? Because both CNN and NBC have already reported on the 4B movement since the election. The 4B movement is already starting to go mainstream in the U.S. And as it does, more and more women are going to consider it for themselves. And I don't know how big the 4B movement will turn out to be in the U.S., but it'll certainly be something. I mean, girls onto something. I saw a stat the other day that said... As soon as the election happened on X, there was over 45,000 posts about the 4B movement. 45,000, that's crazy work. To everybody participating in the 4B movement in the USA, you've definitely seen the discourse online from the other side. Not just threats of SA, but also threats of, that's fine, we'll just fill the US up with conservative Christian children. But let me remind you, that when the birth rate dropped 3% from 2022 to 2023, they were all freaking out. I we wasn't. need more workers for the USA. What are we gonna do without more workers? So keep doing what you're doing. Let them squirm. Let them squirm. Let's just read some of the comments. Bitter, brainwashed, bald B words. Shots fired! You people are goobers. So the ugly stick is real. We don't need you anyways. Imagine being a little girl with cancer and some gremlin online is shaving her head to be uglier. You guys don't know what you want. To That's probably the most sick thing is there are women out there that can't grow their own hair and they're shaving their heads to be ugly and like women with alopecia and cancer that sickens me. My wife and I finally feel like there's a future when we can own a home and afford groceries. So we're going to have our first. It's going to be fine. You good girly. We didn't want you anyway. Shave that head. <laughs> Do you have any idea how silly you sound just saying, damn, that is a big brother. Bro, they are cooking these girls. The comment sections are so brutal sometimes. It cracks me up, bro. <laughs> Hi. Yes. In regard to the 4B movement, um, here's a motion I would like to bring to the people. Okay. Um, when men touch us, you know, that unsolicited touch they do when they're trying to get our attention. Chat, I... I Personally, I don't do a lot of unsolicited touching. Is that something you guys do? I don't. I don't do that. Um, speak to us. Begin to ensnare us in their drama. That is them being a man and wanting something from a woman. Can we start screaming? Can we just scream from there and be like, ah! Can we do that? Because I did that recently, and it was so great. It was so great. I was at this like bar, right? And this guy was like trying to say. At a bar, at a club, talking about, I don't want men to approach me. Don't go to the bar. Women are marketers and men are salesmen. If you're at a place where men feel comfortable touching you and approaching you, don't go to those places. Stay at home. Drink wine with your girlies. I just don't get that. Like, I've always said you don't meet your wife at the club. You don't meet your husband at the bar. It's like, why are you going to these places if you don't want to be around men? That's that's where men go to socialize. Women go to socialize. They They expect that you're okay with being hit on because you're in a place like that to say something to me and like he tapped me and then I was like okay what and like he wasn't using his voice it's like he was trying to like be funny and cute he was neither um and he was like and I was like what and I'm not one of those like what I was like if I'm not especially because like now <laughs> the way I feel about men I'm kind of like what the fuck um I was just kind of like what and he was like I was like yo are you using your voice he was like I was like all right then he like moved on right he moved on and ended up dancing with some girl. And it's funny because like some other people, I don't know because I went there by myself. They, it's like we all collectively saw, okay, good. He finally found someone. So I was like, y'all peep too. Love that for me. Find my tribe. Um, and then he like leaves the girl and ends up going back to the bar. I feel his beady ass eyes just knocking, knocking on my temporal lobe, right? So I was just like, oh my God. So then he touches me again, but this time... The touch went down and touched my thigh. And I had a really cute skirt on, so it touched my skin on my leg, which is too close to the glorious entrance of my vagina, right? So I was like, ah! Is it so touching me? Just like that. I hit a Kevin Hart. So touching me! Ah! And I just and I froze with I froze at the wherever my eyes had widened to, I froze and I was just like, ah! And he was like, Exactly, exactly how I feel. Exactly how I feel. Don't. Oh, 
yeah. Get yourself out of the dating market, please. She seems a little unhinged, I'll be honest. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. Okay, low key, I've been wanting to shave my head, but my girlfriend's like, no, no, no. And now the B4 movement is like, shave your head, ladies, because men love this. They love it. And whenever, you, whenever I cut my hair, men freak out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to tell my girlfriend I'm so sorry, but I'm definitely going to shave my head. Yeah. So stay tuned if I'm if she lets me shave it, which it's not even like if she lets me, I'm gonna tell her. Watch, and I'm gonna totally put it on <laughs> on TikTok, ladies. I just would be so happy if all of us shaved our heads. How about new? <laughs> Stupid. That would be something very spiteful because men love long hair. I love it. Let's, ladies, come on. Let's, please, let's do it. Let's shave our heads. Oh, my God. I Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always the most mid-women talking about, let's shave our heads. Let's jump into the comments section here. They are cooking this girl. It's 4B. Go for it. Y'all are mentally ill. Um... We're going to have so many deranged females walking around bald-headed. This is effing gold. Y'all are all going to look like Dr. Evil. How about no? Or freaking cue ball. Honey, no one cares. So wait, you're shaving your head to hurt men somehow, but you have to make sure your girlfriend's okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> is this satire? Disgrace to cancer patients and women really oppressed. This is why we voted red. Exactly. Exactly. See, look, and now look at her. Oh no, you have the wrong impression. Shaving your head is to stand for women's rights. I do not spread hate. That is supporting women's... It's like, come on, dude. Please do so we know who to avoid. This is a woman. Yes, do it. It makes it easy to spot the crazy ones. Thank you and just do it. You show them, girl. You stick it to those men. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not allowing crappy men to access your body? Shouldn't you have been doing that in the first place? Oh Shots my. Fired! We still thought Britney Spears was hot with a shaved head. Also, like that hairline, you were halfway there. Disclaimer, you were no Britney. <laughs> cares men do not care about your hair you do realize oh my god <laughs> cooking these women on tiktok bro i just got married a month ago and this 4b movement has got me all the way fucked okay so let's talk about it because hi i'm jacqueline i just got married a month ago and now I'm congrats congrats i love relationships i love seeing people married sorry i wasn't sharing my screen um but congrats on that learning about decentering men and not focusing on marriage, kids, any of that shit, our mothers and our grandmothers prioritized, right? So I want to like just how much more normal she looks. She doesn't look deranged, unhinged, crazy. She looks very like she's a normal looking woman. Give you a fresh perspective here, because here's the thing about the internet. There's a lot of information out there that's polar opposite information out there that's highly convincing. It's highly enticing. It's it plays to your emotions, you know? And at the end of the day, I want to be the voice of reason for women out there who are kind of getting suckered into this 4B shit. I want to let you know that you can have it all, but it comes down to your personal choices. If you make bad choices when it comes to dating men, you're going to have bad outcomes. And I know you go into it with high hopes, I know a lot of us see the good in people and then we get burned and then we get abused and all that bullshit and now we're over men and now we hate men and I, I get how it gets to that point. But at the end of the day, 
I, I had to go through a lot to find my now husband. And at the end of the day, I... Are you about to tell us some of your bop lore? I hope not. She seems like a nice girl. I always advocate for myself and what I want. I always tell my partner that this is what I need when it comes to... Like, we even talk about having kids in the future and my needs around that. And, he, you know, I pick someone who's on board, who's open-minded, who's receptive. Keyword, she picked someone. I feel like a lot of women in the dating market, y'all just pick bad men. Y'all pick men that don't want to be in a relationship. You pick men that aren't ready to commit. You pick men that have a promiscuous past. You pick men that treat you as an option. And you wonder, well, why doesn't he put me first? Why is he so mean? And then he gives you trauma. You carry that trauma to the next man. And the thing is, is when you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. Great quote. Receptive to me telling him these progressive ideas. We talk about the 4B movement. I can share this with him. And, you know, he thinks it's a bunch of bullshit. But there's also pieces of it, like never sacrificing anything for a man. Like, oh, bro, come on. You got to sacrifice. In, in a good relationship, it's a give and a take. It's a give and a go. There's certain things you're going to have to sacrifice. Like, I have to sacrifice my time to make money for my family. Cass has to sacrifice her time. To make, you know, breakfast and to cook for us and to clean and to do all that. But it's not really a sacrifice. It's more of serving the other person. So, I don't know. There's certain sacrifices I guess you got to make. Maybe when it comes to what show you're going to watch on Netflix. But that's not really a, a sacrifice. It's just like, that's that's a massive privilege. And now we just like, I got to watch a, a Christmas rom-com <laughs> instead of like, you know, a horror movie. Because that's what I like. That's something we both are obviously agree with. You know, a woman doing whatever the fuck she wants life and pursuing her dreams and not you know getting back like putting all that on the back burner once she meets a man because that's not healthy we both believe it should be two independent people coming together as one who are both moving forward together and i think a lot of the reason why women are are like fuck men right now is because they've witnessed their moms their grandmothers a lot of other women even now that yeah, they watch their mommies pick bad men, and they're like, well, why did they pick bad men? I I hate men now. It's ridiculous. My girlfriend stopped. But it's generational trauma, bruv. Generational trauma. My girlfriend stopped sleeping with me. I think it's because of the election. It's not because, like, you're missing a tooth? No, that, I don't <laughs> think that's it. <laughs> I think it's just politics. It doesn't have to do with me. You sure it's not because, like, she pays for every one of your meals when you go out? I mean, no, she makes more money than me, so I think that's pretty fair. My girlfriend won't sleep with me either. I think it's also because of the election. Really? It started since Tuesday? No, it's actually been like three years. <laughs> I think it's Trump. It's not me. I think it's Trump. I don't think it's me. I want the men in this country to know that half the female population... Guys, I'm terrified of this 4B movement. Loads of liberal women are not going to produce. That means generations of art majors, journalists, baristas, slam poets. Bro. Shots fired! <laughs> baristas and slam poets. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy's cooking. It's, they're all dying out. We're not going to have any left. I don't know what we're going to do. Now, us guys, we're kind of fucked now. Conservative men were lining up in droves to marry these psychotic liberal women. <laughs> so we're entering an era of America that I like to call the leftist dick measuring contest. So they can't just vote for a candidate or like get their thoughts online because that's never enough. Like even when they posted the black square or these low IQ infographics on their Instagram, I was like, you know what? If that's what you believe, you're more than welcome to post it. But what started happening was every leftist started posting low IQ infographics. So then they started trying to one up each other. It starts with posting something from now this, and it ends with you shaving your head. It starts with the black square, and it ends with you at an Antifa riot, dumping your flannel in cement, and then throwing it in the window of a police precinct. Who's got the biggest wang? I mean, the dude's kind of got a point. Like, it's gotten to the point now where, like, being conservative is controversial. And I consider that kind of being, I mean, maybe normal. You know, putting your family first, not being promiscuous, not doing crazy things. And so now it's like the liberal people and the liberal women are like, well, I'm going to stick it to them. I'm going to be more conservative. I'm going to stop sleeping with men. I'm going to wait till marriage. And it's like, that's kind of what you should have been doing from the jump. To the men of America, thank you so much because you have now officially pushed any woman who was ever questioning herself away from you and into my arms. <laughs> and I am now 100% gay. I wasn't sure before, but now I am positive. So if you're a man, don't look at me. Don't touch me. Don't speak to me. Don't breathe near me. Okay?
<laughs> okay, I'm glad we got that sorted. All right, let's get to the comments because some of these are bad. Hey, I have autism too. It's so nice for someone to raise awareness about our condition. Sending hugs. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter has autism too. Thank you for... Oh God. I accept your terms. Where do I sign the gift that keeps on giving? My man is amazing, so I will not be doing this. Oh, no, the women are starting the 4B movement. Less promiscuity in 304s, less unwanted pregnancies, less single mothers, and less fatherless kids. Shot fired! When they have two brain cells left and they're both fighting for third place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't let social media influence how I live my life. What does this mean? Oh, my God. This is wild work. I have a good man, but it's reassuring that women like this exist. It's a laugh for me. I have the same pair of pants. Mine don't fit either. Shots fired! <laughs> I have figured out the world doesn't revolve around me. What does this mean? <laughs> Thank you for knocking out the competition. Dating pool just seriously opened up for me. Oh my God. Perfect men don't want idiots. You're welcome. I'm glad you don't want to repro reproduce. I'm employed. What does this mean? <laughs> don't talk about the for me movement if no one wanted to sleep with you before. Shots fired! Bro. These, they, dude, the comments are so undefeated, bruv. Oh my lord, have mercy. This is crazy work. I'm just not sure what else to do at this point. I'm just not sure what to do. So the, the, the best thing that I can think of is I'm going to have to shave my head and stop wearing makeup. Do it. And divorce my husband. There you go. How about and it? I, 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 this, that's all, that's what I'm gonna have to do. I don't know what else to do. So, come shave my head with me. I'm gonna be honest, she seems based. I don't, I don't think this is for real. Are you kidding me? <laughs> absolutely not. I am absolutely not going to shave my head. Because President Trump is the president elect. Are you, what? That's your hair. Your hair! And you're just gonna shave it. And you're divorcing your husbands. I I'm so glad there's based women out there that, that actually get this. No words. Just, it's just no words. Um, not being intimate. Okay, so that might not be a bad thing. I mean, at least, at least you're, you're taking responsibility, um, you know, when you should have been doing that before, but now that a B is kind of like, you know, now you want to watch what you do instead of just carefree and, you know, having to deal with consequences. Being a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. It's kind of a good thing. Close your legs up. Make it make sense. But no, I, I, I say with my whole chest that I am proud that I voted for Donald Trump. Okay. And for everybody who is shaving their heads. It's crazy work. What? I mean, it is wild, bruv. It is really wild. If you don't start to comply, we will start selling you on the market like cattle. We have all the guns. Don't forget that. Okay. I know, I know that guys are inherently slower than women are. I mean, sorry. I mean, I'll self-admit that I'm pretty slow but it is what it is, okay? So I'm gonna help you out here. Um, what you don't comprehend is that women have been living in fear of men from birth, okay? So these these threats, this, this means absolutely nothing to me, okay? What's happening is you're angry because you're lonely. Things are not going the way you thought they would. You thought it would just be easy for you and you would coast through life and get everything you want. And that's not happening. That's not happening. And where you are is at a fork in the road, guys, okay? So you have two choices. Okay. A, you can continue down the path that you're on and behaving the way that you do, and then you will legit die alone okay mm -hmm. your biggest fear you will die alone okay? okay nobody will be by your side or or the the option i recommend is to go to therapy work on yourself become better human beings and then hope like hell a woman picks you one day okay because the tables have turned you You don't understand that we do This not lady seems unhinged. I don't know if she's in her grandma's house or if she actually decorated her house like this in her robe. <sighs> I 
need you anymore. We do not care. You serve very little purpose, okay? You're not providers. You're certainly not protectors. I mean, you're making threats against us right there. So you can't protect us. You're a threat to us. And you're not providing anything financially or otherwise. You're not even nice. You guys are... I love it. Single women keep women single. Misery loves company. The bull nose ring, the grandma glasses. You can't make this stuff up, buddy boy. Y'all don't want to do the 4B movement in America because you can't close your legs. And I understand. I'm married, so... You know what I mean? Like, but... The girls <laughs> see, in but see how normal she looks? She's normal. A natural face. She's based. She doesn't seem unhinged. She doesn't seem crazy. Like, these are the types of women we're looking for. The continent of Asia that's doing the 4B movement... You in America, you can't do it because you can't stop having. Mm -hmm. You can't stop popping at cats. That's what it is. That's why the girls in America can't really stick together and do the 4B movement. Because you can't stop playing with, you can't stop playing with your, you know what I'm trying. You can't stop allowing people to get up in there. You, you can't, you can't be celibate or abstinent. Like that's really what it is. Because I don't, I don't believe in the 4B movement. I think it's a waste of time. I think it's Rex. just a waste of doing something. Um, and don't nobody come to comments and be like, da -da 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 because I genuinely am not going to read them comments. But y'all know y'all not doing that 4B movement over here in the United States. Y'all like to party, club, bounce, pop, pop that, put suppositories in afterwards. That's all y'all want to do. That's all y'all like to do. And I don't think y'all should be doing it. I think y'all should be focusing on yourself, cleansing yourself, having a come to Jesus moment. And um, if you want to still use your cat, I feel like you should just settle down and get ready to be married. That's what I think. We need more based women like that, man. That's crazy work. This 4B movement is running rampant right now. It's like wildfire. It is spreading all over. Um, and I got many more parts, man. There's so many videos on TikTok and X right now that it's like, I'm probably going to make like a six or seven part series on this. It's absolute insanity. There's so much content around it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to cop the two eBooks, the four pillars of personality and the four steps of style that make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.